Next on Wonderama, we have two superstar sister chefs that work magic in the kitchen. Say hello to my friends, Kayla and Lauren Mitchell. Hi. What's up, you guys? Nothing much. Now, you're not new to television. You are superstars on TV. Now, tell us a little bit why. Um, well, you see, I was on MasterChef Junior and I made it to the top six. Top six in MasterChef Junior. Yeah. And? And I was on Chop Junior and I won. We have the champion, the Chop Junior champion right here, you guys. You guys work together in the kitchen as sisters, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. And rivals? A little bit, a little bit. She, uh, I signed her up for Chop Junior because she was jealous that I was on TV. So now that she won, there's a little bit of like. Oh man, that's a rub, right? It's a little, a little bit of a rub. But you're, <laughs> you're both champions. I mean, fantastic job on TV. And now Thank you're you. here, and you're gonna share a secret recipe you haven't shared with anybody. Is that right, Lauren? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. I didn't even tell my mom the measurements and stuff. Yeah. This is a secret. Yeah, so I'm making my super secret guacamole recipe, and you're gonna probably want the whole bowl by the time I'm done. <laughs> and I'm making my awesome salsa. Oh, well, you were doing a different recipe, okay. Yeah, and it's gonna be really tasty. Oh, I bet it is. I can <laughs> yeah. tell already, you're confident enough. So you're gonna do the guac, you're gonna do the salsa. All right. Walk me through this. What are you doing here with the tomatoes? I'm chopping them in big chunks so that you get all the flavor from them. And then there's garlic, jalapeno, salt, pepper, mm -hmm. onion, cilantro, and it's gonna be really tasty. I have to ask of all the foods in the world, what's your favorite food? Well, I like to cook comfort and Italian food. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I like to make it elevated. So like pasta from a box, I like to make it from scratch. And uh, cheeseburgers, I like to stuff them with cheese. So Hamburger Helper gets a lot of help from you, really, is what's going on there. Yeah. What about your favorite food? Um, I like to make homemade pasta. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, I like to make steak, too. I mean, our parents, we always cook for them, except we don't really like to clean. So, yeah. you know, the kitchen's never clean at my house, You've which is unfortunate for my mom. Oh, right. So, <laughs> so it's all the best part about the chef is you can just make the mess and then walk away, right? Um, well, now that doesn't really slide since I got older, and she's like, you, so you clean your room, you can clean the kitchen. Oh, so, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, laying the law. Yeah. So what's going on on this side? Well, I cut some avocado and... I have some wine juice in there, and now I'm cutting some jalapenos. I don't want your mouth to burn, so I have to take out the seeds for you. Do you know how a pepper gets nosy? I don't. It gets jalapeno business. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you can use it. Don't give me any credit for it, though. But I, these are hot. Yeah, so I'm not going to use a lot in mine. I mean, I like things spicy, but sometimes my mom doesn't like things super spicy. So sometimes she says that I, like, over season her food because I do it like how I like. Yeah, you like you like the spice. I do. You like it the spice. I do. Excellent. <laughs> so uh, for those kids out here who want to learn to be, you know, exceptional chefs, what advice would you guys give them? What do you think, Lauren? Just keep doing what you're doing and never give up. Yeah? yeah. What's your advice? I think being yourself through your food is definitely like what something that I try to stick to. My mom always tells me, you know, be yourself and you know people will like you. Do you always follow the recipe? No. No, never. No, I do sometimes, which I probably should do it all the time. Yeah. I like making my own recipes with my food, so I'll be in the middle of a recipe and I'm like, I don't like how that's in it. So Taste I'll it just... throughout and make changes on the fly. Yeah, I kind of learned that from my mom because she doesn't follow any recipes at all. So, you know, it's okay. She's a good cook, except I think I'm a little bit better. Excellent. But I did learn from her, so I mean, like, I got to give her some credit. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> now, you're giving the secret recipe away right here on our show. You realize that, right? I, I do. I'm, I'm ready. Cool people, that? People got to make their guacamole be the best, too. Yeah? Yeah. This is really smelling delicious and looking very tasty, <laughs> for sure. You don't even need to go to cooking school because you've already got this mastered, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to be a chef, but... Really? What would you want to be? I want to be a fashion designer or um, a teacher. Yeah? Yeah. That's so admirable of you. You know, I you could be so. a fashion designer for chefs. You can make those chef hats and aprons look really stylish. How about that? We could bedazzle yeah. them. Oh, you, yeah, put all <laughs> blings on it all over the place. That'd be kind of cool. That yes, would. it would. Now, you're going to be a chef as you uh, get older? I don't really know. Yeah. I, I have a lot of different interests right now, so I don't really know, but I think I'm just not going to ever stop cooking, so. 
You always get good stuff out you, of the kitchen. You always got to eat, right? Yes. It's always going to be there. <laughs> well, this looks fantastic. It's a lot of work, you can tell. We have a finished product of the guacamole yes, that do. looks awesome. Yeah, we've, um, in this bowl, I had some avocado, jalapeno, tomato, some lime juice, and in here, the only other things were cilantro and red onion and some salt and pepper. Oh, and garlic. Excellent. <laughs> and you're, you're cool sharing this recipe. I just want to make sure. I, yeah. Well, if you guys want these recipes, check out Wonderama TV for them specifically. Try them out. Lauren and Kayla, give them one more round of applause.